The third method to locate a blank for machining in other than lathes is locating from external profile. Profile locators position the work in relation to an outside edge or the outside of a detail. The most common method of locating work in the early stages of machining when you, you, you don't have other options. So we will discuss two possibilities in this case. First, locating from external profile using nesting locators. These locators position a part by enclosing it in a depression or recess of the same shape as the part. So nesting is the most accurate locating device for, for profile location. Since the nest must conform to the shape of the part, nests are very expensive. That is the downside of using such locators. So they are expensive to design for complicated shapes. Here are two examples. On the left side, we are having a ring nest for cylindrical profiles. So we have a part and we have a depression or recess in the, in the body of the fixture in which this part has been placed. So this is the part and we have a circular ring uh, 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 in which this part has been placed. And here we are having a full nest, but here the, here the shape of the part is not cylindrical, it is different, but you can see that we have made a recess of the exact shape as that of the part and part has been placed in that. And this is a jig actually that we are developing in our, in our lab. So there are actually four holes that are to be, to be drilled in the blank. So this is the blank. So you can see that this blank will be simply placed into the recess here and it will be located through this profile that is a circular profile of the blank and then we will perform and the drilling operation. So you will see the details of this jig in, in your lab. But the method of locating this through profile, that is the circular periphery of the, of the blank. Another very common uh, locator that we use is V locator. And it is used to locate round shafts or other work pieces with cylindrical sections. One advantage V locators have over other locators is their centralizing feature. So I will explain at this point in the following slide. So here we are using two V locators to locate this cylindrical work piece. So again, this is the V block and a cylindrical work piece is located. Now in this uh, figure, it can accommodate a wide range of uh, a diameter, uh, a wide range of um, the diameter of the parts. So we can use this field locator for the smaller diameter part or relatively larger diameter part. And you can see that the workpiece is automatically centered in the, in the V locator. So this is the center of the V block and this is the as center of the, of the workpiece. So that is not an issue. If we are having a relevant flat datum point, then locating the central uh, axis of the blank is not an issue. That is one issue. Uh, that is one benefit actually that we achieve using V locators that horizontal axis is automatically in the right orientation. So here we have a V block that is locating this cylindrical workpiece and we are using a, a clamp to hold it in the position. So I hope you can visualize how many and which of the 12 degrees of freedom would be restricted if the V block was used only and we were not using this clamp. So workpiece was simply placed in the V block. So I hope you can visualize how many of the 12 degrees of freedom are restricted uh, if we use a V block to, to position a cylindrical workpiece like this. Of course, if you use clamp, 
as well in this fashion, then all degrees of freedom will, will be restricted. But the question is, without the clamp, how many directions of movement are restricted? Finally, we may also need ejectors in, in the bodies of fixtures and jigs. So in this case, for example, these are two solid locators that we are using. And if we are locating the workpiece like this, then there are shapes of code that are produced during, during machining and this part might be making an interference fit with these locators. So it might be difficult to eject. So we can use ejectors of different designs to, to eject the part from the body of the fixture. So in this case, we are having a mechanical ejector. So after machining, we can pull it in this direction so that this ejecting pin will move in this direction and workpiece will come out of the body of fixture. Or we can use a spring uh, plungers. So if we are machining the workpiece that is in this position. So after machining, we can actuate this, uh, this spring and it will push the workpiece out of the out of the fixture. So we can lock this ejector during machining and we can actuate it after machining and it will eject the workpiece. So we discussed in this lecture as a whole what is meant by locating a job in a fixture or jig. We discussed the 12 degrees of freedom, how they are restricted using locators. So primary goal of locators is to position the workpiece, but in addition, locators must restrict as many degrees of freedom as possible. Then we discuss some general principles of locating the part. And then we discuss some methods of locating the part, part in fixtures and jigs. We discussed some locating and clamping devices for lathe. And then we discuss some methods of locating the part in machines other than lathe. Thank you very much.